Hello everyone, in today's tutorial we are going to see how to create this animated neon text effect using Adobe Photoshop. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, now before we're gonna start this tutorial, make sure to download this font that we'll be using to create our text effect. It's called Quicksand. I will make sure to put this link down in the description below. So just download it and install it before starting Photoshop. Alright, and also make sure to download this brick wall texture that we'll be using as a background for our text effect. Alright, so let's go ahead and open Photoshop and then I will go to File, New. And for the width and height, I will be using is 1080 pixel for each. And the reason why I'm using this because it's the standard Instagram uh, resolution. You can choose whatever width and height you want. And I will be using 72 in the resolution and RGB in the current mode. And the piece OK. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and open the brick wall texture. So I will take it and open it in a new tab. And then I will drag it to the other tab in here. And I will close this. Now I'll zoom out a little bit and then I'm going to press Ctrl T and I will press Alt Shift on my keyboard and I will make it smaller so it will fit with the canvas. And I will one click on this check mark. Alright, now we'll name it Wall and then I will delete this background. After that, I will go to Image, Adjustment and I will choose Brightness and Contrast. And then I will put down the brightness to around minus 70 and I will increase the contrast to around 25. And as you can see this will make this brick wall a little bit darker and that's what you want. You want to use a, a dark background image so the glowing neon will appear a little bit better. Alright, now I'm gonna create a new layer and I will call it light. And then I will fill it with black, so I will go ahead and choose the paint bucket tool. And then I will switch black as my foreground color, and I will one click to fill it with black. Now I will uh, choose my brushes, and then I will right click and I will choose a rounded regular brush. And I'm gonna put 1100 pixel in the size, and for the hardness, I will keep it 0% and 100% in the opacity and 100% in the flow. But I'm gonna switch to white as my foreground and I will go to the center and I will one click. Now I'm gonna change the blending mode of this to overlay. And as you can see this will create this kind of light in the center. But I'm gonna put down the opacity to around 75%. Alright, now I will go ahead and open my text. And again, I will be using the same font that we downloaded. It's called Quicksand in regular. And then I will one click and I will type energy. And of course you can type whatever you want, but I'm gonna use this word. And then I will switch to my move tool and I will take it and put it in the center. And then I'm gonna press Ctrl T and I will make it a little bit bigger. Just around here. And I will one click on this check mark. Alright, now we'll go to this energy text and I will right click and choose convert to smart object. And I will name it energy original. And then I'm gonna create a new copy, so I'm gonna press Ctrl J and I will call this glow one. And then I will open the blending options, so I will go to this FX icon and I will choose blending options. After that, I will select auto glow. And for the blending mode, I'm using normal and I'm going to put down the opacity to 70% and 0% in the noise. But for the color, I will be using this orange color. So I will put FF6C00 and I will press OK. And in the spread, I will keep it 0% and for the size, I'm going to put around 90 pixel. And this will change depending on the resolution of your image. If you'll be using the same resolution as I'm using now, you can, you know, keep these values. But if not, and you are using a big resolution image, you can, you know, tweak this depending on how it will look uh, on your canvas. All right. And I will keep everything in here the same and I will press OK. All right. Now I'm going to press Ctrl J 
and this will create a copy and I will call this glow 2 and then I will double click on this uh, outer glow to tweak it so I'm gonna keep the blending mode normal but I'm gonna put 100% in the opacity and I will keep 0% in the noise but I'm gonna change the color to a bright orange color so I'm gonna put F0962B and I will press OK now I'm gonna put down the size to around 25 pixels and I will press OK and as you can see we are starting to get this kind of uh, neon glowy effect but we still need to create a little bit of blur around this text in here so I'm gonna create another copy of this so I'm gonna press Ctrl J and I will call it blur and then I will delete this FX in here and then I will take this blur layer and put it under the glue one layer right now we'll double click on it to open the blending options again but this time I will go to color overlay and I will change the color to an orange color so I'm gonna put FF6C00 and I'll press OK and OK now I will go to filter blur and I'm gonna choose Gaussian blur and in the radius in here I'm gonna put 150 pixel but again it's depend on the resolution of your image you might need like to tweak these uh, pixels in here and I'll press OK as you can see this will create a kind of highlights around the text alright now I will go to the glow to layer and I will create a new layer and I will call it highlights and then I will go to my brush and I will right click to change the size so I'm gonna put around 100 pixel and I will keep the hardness set to 0% but I'm gonna put down the opacity to around 30% and then I'm gonna change the blending mode of this highlights layer to overlay and I will make sure that white is my foreground color and then I'm gonna start painting over the lines of uh, the words to add a little bit of highlights on the corners just like this Alright, so the last thing that we are going to add is an electricity line that will come from outside the canvas from here and going up right here. Alright, so I will select this light layer and then I will create a new layer above it and I will call this energy line. And then I will select my pen tool and I will zoom out a little bit and then I will one click in here and drag outside the canvas as you can see and then I will go where I want to end my line I want to end it right here so I will one click and drag and as you can see this will look like an energy line coming from outside the canvas in here and of course you can go back and tweak the other points by pressing ctrl and one click and you know adjust the position of it to wherever you want So I will keep it like this and then I will go to my brush and I will right click to change the size so I'm gonna put 7 pixel in the size and 100% in the hardness and 100% in the opacity and 100% in the flow and then I will go back to my pen tool and I will make sure that I'm selecting the energy line in here and then I will right click and choose stroke path and in the tool in here I will make sure that I'm using brush and simulate pressure is unchecked and I will press OK and as you can see this will create this kind of line that looks like coming from the outside in here alright now I will double click on it to open the blending options and then I will go to color overlay and I will change the color to a dark grey color so I will use this color in here as you can see and I will press OK after that I will go to bevel and emboss and for the style is inner bevel, smooth in the technique and 100% in the depth and up in the direction and for the size is 9 pixel and 0 pixel in the soften and for the angle 120 and make sure that use global light is unchecked and 30 in the altitude and in the highlights mode I will keep it screen but I'm gonna put down the opacity to around 30% and in the color you can choose 
uh, a close color to orange if you are using blue you can choose a bluish color or you can keep it white if you want but for me i'm just gonna use this kind of orange color so it will reflect a little bit on the line as you can see and hope it's okay and for the shadow mode keep it multiply and choose a dark gray color and press ok and 75% in the opacity next i will go to drop and shadow and keep the blending mode set to normal and black for the color and 60% in the opacity and you know for the replacement of the shadow you can just you know use your cursor you can place it where it looks like it's reflecting the lights in here as you can see and in the size just put around 9 to 7 pixel in here and press ok and as you can see now it looks like an electricity line coming from outside the canvas all right so we're done now it's time to animate this text so we'll go ahead and open the timeline if you can't find it just go to window and you know open timeline from here and in this little button make sure that you are using create frame animation instead of create video timeline and then one click on it and you can see this will create a frame in here that would correspond or reflect what we have on our layers and what's appear in our canvas all right so we're gonna keep uh, this first frame like this with uh, everything here set and we're gonna create a new frame by one click on this icon in here and then i'm gonna hide all the layers that will uh, create our effect so i'm gonna start with the highlight layer so i will one click on this uh, eye icon and this will hide it and i will do the same for the glow 2 layer and the glow 1 layer and the blur layer and i will keep just the original energy text in here and as you can see now this will go from this to this all right so i will keep selecting this second frame and then i will go to this twin icon in here and i will one click on it and then i'm gonna put three in the frames to add and i will make sure that i'm using previous frame instead of first frame and all layers is checked and everything in here keep it checked and press ok and as you can see this will create three frame in between if we go back to the first frame it will go from a neon glow to a no glow in here after that i will create a new frame by one click on here and then i will make all this layer visible again by one click on this eye icon just like that and as you can see now we have the full effects in here after that i will one click on this twin icon again but this time i'm gonna change the frames to add to five and i will keep the twin set to previous frame and i will keep everything in here the same and i will press ok all right now we'll go to the first frame and i'm gonna change the timing to 0.2 second all right now i'm gonna make sure that i'm using forever instead of once or three times in the timing and then we can preview our animation by one click on this play button and as you can see now we have this really cool uh, glowing animation in here all right now we can stop it and let's render it all right so i will go to file export and i will choose render video and you know you can give it a name in here so i'm gonna put animated neon text and you can select where you want to save it from here so one click on it and you know select a folder and press render and wait for it to render all right now we can preview it as you can see now this is our video in here we can play it by double click on it and there we go we have our animated neon text set and ready to be published on instagram Alright, so I hope that you enjoyed and you like this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know, show me out on Instagram if you tried this effect and have a nice day. Thank you for watching.